Welcome everyone to another Fjord tutorial video. Today we will showcase how to participate in a Fjord Live LVP as well as showing some sections of the Fjord UI to help participants navigate it. So without further ado, we'll get started. So first thing you want to do is head to the LVPs page where you can see a list of all live, past and future LVPs. Then you can flip between testnet and mainnet LVPs. If you're participating on mainnet, you'll need to click mainnet. And then today, just for the purposes of this video, we'll be participating in a test LVP. And then here you'll see a list of all of the curated LVPs as well as the overall all LVPs unvetted list. Now, just a quick note about curated versus unvetted pools. Curators are third parties who select projects for curation according to their own standards. Pure doesn't have any say of the parameters in which projects are chosen for curation. So it's best to speak with curators individually to understand what criteria must be met to be curated. So once you've decided on which LBP you want to explore, you then click the view one. Now we're just going to be participating in this one as this is a test one created by one of our devs. And here you'll be greeted with the screen. If you want to proceed, you'll need to click continue. And this is a live screen for a live LVP, as you can see here. Now, just a quick note, you can see here the swap component, which you might be familiar with on other AMM platforms. This will only be unlocked if you pass the DeFi quiz. So prior to participating in unvetted LBPs, you are required to answer a series of questions to search to show that you're proficient and have a strong understanding of LBPs. Otherwise, you won't be permitted to participate. From here, you can see the rest of the screen. So you'll see the price of the token, the total volume, the liquidity, the amount of tokens that have already been released and how much of the currency or the base token also known as has been accrued. So that's usually Ethereum stablecoin. Um, and then you'll see how long has the project got left for this LVP. Okay, and then you'll see a view of the pricing chart. Now it's important to know, we go over this in other videos, but just remember price starts high at the start of the LVP and then goes down so you'll see here if there's no buying pressure this is what the bot this is what the price will be however you know the determination of the price curve and where this price curve ends up is dependent on a number of different factors such as the weighting of the pools which we'll discuss in a moment at the time so again we go over that in more videos but that's just to give you a, a brief overview of how the pricing chart works so this is the price now. Now you only participate in the OBP if you are comfortable with what the price of the token is relatively relative to how many tokens have been released, how many tokens are in the contract, which you can find down here. So you need to make sure that you're intaking all of this information before you decide to participate in an LBP. So in this instance, we're happy to participate based on the information that we've researched prior. But also we want to go through some of the details first before we, before we buy in. So here you'll see a description of the LBP. This again is a test. So we've just put test text in here for now. Um, there's an image of the token and the linked Twitter account. You'll see the status of the LBP start and end dates as well. And you'll also get the starting balances, how much liquidity they initially provided. Again, test network, so it's very low amount of ETH there. Go early ETH. And then you'll see what the current balance is now. So how much that has been reduced and how much liquidity has been generated by the team. You can see here as well, base tokens accrued. There's also a swap fee that you need to be aware of in addition to understanding what the weights are. So based on the weights pretty much determine what the price curve is in addition to how much liquidity is provided and the time of the LVP. So all of those factors go into determining how the LVP will play out. So it's really important that you 
gather all of that information, you understand it before you participate. And there's just some other settings and important notes down here just around owner rights and blocked countries as well. Okay, so now that we are happy with what the price is of the token and we're ready to uh, buy in and become a, uh, an investor community member, then we will choose to buy in. So once you have selected how many tokens you wish to buy in for, then input the amount into the swap component. It says here that there is a swap available for that amount of tokens. Again, just because we're on go early test set for the purposes of this video, it is a small amount of weight. And once that's all approved, you can see this button here, highlight, click get tokens. And then you just need to follow the prompts within your selected wallet. You can see here the transaction is pending. And it succeeded. So there you have it. That's all there pretty much is to it at this moment. So if you've got any further questions, please do let us know. You can join our Discord and chat to the team and that's it for now. Thanks very much for joining us and we will catch you next time. Cheers.